few men ever became such a symbol of American ruggedness, bravery, and swagger as John Wayne. He was a larger-than-life figure, appearing in 179 film and television productions across a 30-year career and becoming one of the biggest Hollywood stars of the 20th century. Off the screen, John Wayne the Freemason was devoted to the craft, finding comfort in the lodge with his brethren. Through his accomplishments as an actor and a mason, he left his mark on countless lives, changing the film industry forever. John Wayne was a lifelong participant in fraternal societies. A member of De Molay in high school, John Wayne would go on to become a 32nd degree Scottish Rite Freemason, a Shriner, and received several de Molay honours before his death in 1979. Throughout his life, he evidenced individual self-determination and strength of character, honouring himself and the craft by his conduct. A strong believer in equality, he once remarked that within the Lodge was the only place he felt he wasn't being held up on a pedestal. John Wayne was born Marion Morrison in Winterset, Iowa, on the 26th of May, 1907. According to a news article in the Winterset Madisonian, Wayne was 13 pounds at birth. In 1916, the family moved to Glendale, California. After moving to Glendale, Wayne attended Wilson Middle School. Every day on his way to school, he passed the local firehouse with his pet terrier, Duke. One of the local firemen started calling Wayne Little Duke. Wayne preferred just Duke, and the name stuck for the rest of his life. In high school, Wayne played for the Glendale High School Championship team. He was also very active with the local chapter of the Order of Demolay. For college, Wayne applied to the United States Naval Academy, but was not accepted. He did attend the University of Southern California on an athletic scholarship. Unfortunately, however, he broke his collarbone, which ended his athletic career. It also ended his scholarship. With no funds available for school, he left USC. His coach, who had been given to giving Tom Mix tickets to USC games, asked Mix and director John Ford to give Wayne a job as a prop boy and extra. Wayne quickly started appearing as an extra in many films. He also met Wyatt Earp, who was friends with Mix. Wayne later credited Earp with giving him his walk, talk and persona. In 1930, Wayne was cast in the movie The Big Trail. The director felt Wayne needed a better stage name. He first suggested Anthony Wayne to a student executive who rejected it. The director then suggested John Wayne. It was approved by the studio executive. It is important to note that Wayne himself was never present for any of the discussions involving his stage name. The Big Trail was a groundbreaking film of the new era in sound movies, and it is highly regarded by modern critics. Unfortunately, it was a box office flop at the time, as most theatres did not have the equipment to show the 70mm format film it was shot in. Throughout the 1930s, Wayne starred in a series of B-movie westerns. It wasn't until 1939 when John Ford gave him a starring role in the movie Stagecoach, which was a critical and financial success. The film propelled Wayne to becoming a mainstream star. When World War II broke out, Wayne was declared too old for service. He was 34. He was also classified 3A, family deferment. Wayne wanted to be reclassified, allowing him to serve in the war. Republican studios, which held his contract, threatened to sue him if he were to leave to enlist. By many accounts, not being able to serve was one of the most painful experiences of Wayne's life. His widow suggested in later years he became a super patriot due to the guilt he felt for not serving during the war. Throughout the 1940s, 50s and into the 1960s, Wayne worked with director John Ford on more than 20 films. One of the more notable films was The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance in 1962. In the film, Wayne, for the first time, calls another character Pilgrim. 
In 1969, Wayne won the Best Actor Oscar for his role in True Grit. It was his second time being nominated. The first came 17 years earlier. In 1976, Wayne appeared in his final film, The Shootist. In the film, Wayne portrayed J.P. Brooks, a man dying of cancer, a disease Wayne himself passed away from three years later. Wayne was a member of the Marion McDaniel Lodge No. 56 in Tucson, Arizona. He became a 32nd degree Scottish Rite Mason, a member of York Rite, and joined Al Malaika Shrine Temple in Los Angeles.